We've talked on the YouTube channel about Just Cause. This is a franchise, guys, that I really enjoy. It's it's very obviously one of those franchises that is, you know, unrealistic in a number of ways, but that's the beauty of video games. There's just a lot of, you know, excitement and such around, you know, the different things that you can do and the imagination runs wild when it comes to these video games and this franchise in particular, that being Just Cause. And so what I want to talk about, guys, is Just Cause 5. This is a, a game that we've talked about here on the YouTube channel. You guys can check out, the, you know, those videos uh, here, but just Cause 5, I want to talk about everything that we want. And when I say we want, I'm mainly talking about myself, and I know some of you share the same thoughts as myself and the same opinions, but if you don't share some of the same opinions, let me know what you guys want to see in Just Cause 5 in the comment section down below. So guys, over, let's talk about the release timeline here really quick so we can give some context. So you got from 2006 was our very first Just Cause game that came out. Then you had about four years later, you had Just Cause 2 come out, and then five years after that, Just Cause 3, and then three years after that, you had Just Cause 4. And so it seems like, you know, they're still, they're, they're, they space out these games. And so what I would say is, now being in 2020, we're probably a year or so away from hearing word of a Just Cause 5, and depending on when they want to make a, another one, it really, you know, it comes down to uh, just kind of preference and such. And I think that Just Cause 5 is definitely something that people in the Just Cause, you know, community definitely want to see. Now, one thing that all these games have in common, and the one thing, or I should say, you know, there's a couple of things, but the main thing here that I see that's in common with all these is that there's one mode with all of them, and that is a single-player experience. And I'm not going to say, guys, that it's a terrible thing, but I've said this at nauseum at this point on the YouTube channel, that when you limit a game to one game mode or to, you know, uh, only a, a limited amounts of different ways that you can connect with that game or franchise in this, you know, instance, there is a lot of, you know, there's a, a, a kind of a it kind of stunts the growth of what the potential could be for, for a series like Just Cause. So, to give you an example, each of these games are a single-player experience. I'm not saying that the single-player experience isn't good because it's very exciting, it's invigorating, it's a very fun experience depending on which one you're talking about. But... Not having co-op experiences and not having multiplayer experiences is something that's going to hold back a franchise like this, in my personal opinion. Now, you could say, well, it's obviously not holding it back because they've made four games up to this point, and we're talking about a fifth one, but I think... What could really progress the franchise forward in a major way? I'm not just talking about from, you know, moving the story in the right direction. I'm talking about moving the franchise in the right direction, moving it to a point where there's lots of people streaming it on Twitch. There's a huge community of people talking about it um, on a daily basis. And because when it comes down to it, guys, we know the facts are is that multiplayer games are typically the biggest games in the world at this point. Single player experiences are certainly something, you know, that are special and something that should not ever go away. But I think what needs to happen strategically by the developers and publishers is taking franchises and saying basically, okay, look, this has been the formula. We've been making a single player experience, but now we need to expand it in order to grow this fan base. Because you kind of, if you have four games, like in the case of Just Cause, you obviously have something there, but it may have its growth stunted because you only are doing single player experiences. If you have multiplayer and co-op modes, it brings you back to the game, brings you back to the franchise on a consistent basis, especially if those game modes, that being multiplayer and co-op, are really good. And so single player can be great guys. And I've, I've compared this to like, you know, I'll compare this to like God of War, which obviously came out and that was a very, you know, incredible experience. People loved the single player experience for God of War. People are excited for the continuation, but see, there's only so much you can do with a single player experience, like a single player story. You play it a couple of times and then you usually move on to another game. Like you may play the campaign a couple of times through. What I will do is I'll play the campaign one time through, see what the story's like, and then I'll go back through on my second time around and I will look for collectibles and things of that nature 
kind of try beating the game in a different way and playing it on a harder difficulty. But after that, if there's no other ways in which you can connect with the franchise, I'll move on to another game. And usually I'm looking for games that are full package deals. I'm going to spend $60. And in that $60, you're not only getting a single player experience, but you're also getting multiplayer and you're getting some co-op modes. So what I'm getting at here, guys, is the things that I want and a Just Cause 5 is going to be a full package, and that being a single-player experience that continues progressing the story forward, but also having multiplayer experiences that I can connect with, you know, on a regular basis, and then on top of that, co-op experiences that I can play with my friends. And so, when you have, those are the main things. Obviously, the story and such, guys, I just, I you know, you, you play this game, and it's like a blockbuster game. It's like one of those games that you start, you know, playing, and it's just a lot of fun, and you know, um, you you play it through, and then when it's done, it's done, and you kind of move on. Typically, now I know there's a lot of people who love this franchise. Wouldn't you want to have more ways in which you can connect with this franchise? That being like co-op or multiplayer, even if they just added a few things. I mean, I'll give you an example of of, of a franchise that I feel had tons of potential, but because it was behind the curve on some of these things, it, you know, ended up uh, kind of fizzling out was Dead Space. It was a very niche game in the standpoint of a horror uh, action game, um, or more so just a horror game in general, and they were behind with adding co-op, they were behind with adding, you know, multiplayer modes and such, and so when Dead Space 3 came out, they tried to change the formula to an action horror game instead of just a, you know, pure horror game, and it, it didn't really settle well with people, and then on top of that, they added co-op, but it was almost a little bit too little too late. What I'm getting at here is that Just Cause can kind of learn from mistakes like that of some of the other games out there in the gaming landscape. You would hate to see Just Cause end up just ending one day because it's just not bringing in enough copies, like a single player experience, just it's not doing enough, whereas if they add multiplayer and co-op, it's going to really build that franchise in a, in a different way. And I think it's important to have a full package deal. And so that being said, guys, that's my main thing personally, as a, from a, from a perspective of, uh, someone who is a, a, a lover of video games and absolutely would, uh, really likes the Just Cause franchise. I think this is a great franchise overall, guys. And look, when we go to Just Cause 4, and uh, based on Wikipedia, you look at the review scores. I mean, the reviews are above average. I mean, I would say, guys, they're mixed or average reviews. And the PlayStation 4 version of Just Cause sold 16,100 copies within its first week on sale in Japan, which placed it at number 7 on the all-format video game sales charts. So... That's another thing. Is like I don't know what that compares to some of the other games, but what I'm saying is, is that the sales may not be doing as well. Like they're slowly decreasing in this franchise, and I'm not saying it's because of just a single player experience. But the more ways you can connect with the franchise, the better, in my personal opinion. But I'd love to hear your opinion in the comment section below, guys. So at the end of the day, Just Cause Five. The main things that I want, and I think that we can, I kind of speak for some of you out there, that we want other ways to connect with the franchise. We also want to continue what has made Just Cause great up to this point, that being, you know, a great single player experience, kind of continuously updating the, you know, whether we're talking from the graphic standpoints, which will be obvious that, you know, updating those graphics on the next gen consoles, which I think would do really well for Just Cause 5. And then on top of that, just continuing the legacy and, and the story and even adding new mechanics, you know, slightly, keep it like Just Cause, but, you know, adding a few new mechanics is always something that's really great as well. New and environments that you're, you're, you know, that you're traveling around. That's also really cool. But all in all, the main point here is a full package guys is better than just having a part of a package, right? So I think that's really important to, to understand guys. And that's what my thinking is. I'd love to hear yours in the comment section below. And let me know what you guys think about Just Cause 5 and what are you hoping to see in the, the future with this franchise. Let me know, guys. And for more Just Cause 5 content and videos, stay here with Zero TV.